A new ban list was released on September 18th, 2017. Digusto Emerald, Denglong, first of the Yang Zing, Dynamite, the true Draco fighter, Grand Soil, the Elemental Lord, True King Lithosigem, the Disaster, Zodiac Broadbull, and Zodiac Dryden were now banned from official tournament play. Ignis Heat, the true Draco warrior, Miscellaneousaurus, Zodiac Ratpier, Dark Hole, Gateway of the Six, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, and True King's Return were now limited to one copy each. Blockluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Brianak, Dragon of the Ice, Barrier, Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, TG Hyper Librarian, Brain Control, Burial from a Different Dimension, El Shadal Fusion, and Preparation of Rights were now limited to two copies each. And finally, Debris Dragon, Honest, Rescue Cat, Rescue Rabbit, Summoner Monk, Witch of the Black Forest, Charge of the Light Brigade, Dragon Ravine, and Wavering Eyes were now unlimited to three copies, although some of these cards did receive an errata. Then not long afterwards, Circuit Break would be the next core set released on October 19th, 2017. This set would usher in in several powerful cards, but one in particular would help one deck ascend to a tier zero status. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I've said it so many times on the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, and unfortunately it never gets easier. Welcome to Tier Zero. As I'm sure you just heard in October of 2017's Circuit Break released to the public. This set had a ton in it, the Alter Geists got some good support in here, but the only card people cared about was this one, Spiral Double Helix. This card aimed to improve a previously TCG exclusive archetype by giving it a link that I guess you could classify as untested. This card can be made with two spirals and its name becomes Super Agent while in the field or in the graveyard. You can declare a card type, monster, spell, or trap, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. If you're correct, you can take a spiral from your deck or graveyard, add it to your hand, or special summon it to a zone this card points to. This is an insanely powerful effect. When it comes to strong Link monsters, all of the top offenders in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh's most broken monsters ever summon cards from the deck. Summon Sorceress, Crystron Hauka Fibrax, and Double Helix is no exception. After the release of Circuit Break, two YCSs were held, one in America and one across the pond. The 2017 YCS in London, England had 27 spiral decks in the top 32. In Dallas, that number was 29. Both of these events had a top four closeout comprised exclusively of spiral players, leaving many Yu-Gi-Oh players insanely frustrated. How could this keep happening. This deck ticked all the boxes. It was incredibly expensive. It was miserable to play both with and against. All of the hallmarks of a terrible format, things like Artifact Sanctum, Dimensional Barrier, and Droll and Lockbird are present here and were absolutely game determinative in a way that other tier zeros with comprehensive decks like Tier Lament weren't. This format sucked. And Konami took note. Player dissatisfaction was at an all-time high, and as a result, they took swift action against the Spiral Menace. Whether it's enough, we'll explore on a subsequent episode. For now, let's emulate a match that could have happened at these events, Spiral v Spiral. Alex is going to be playing a deck from the London YCS, but I want to focus on this deck, which got both first and second place at the Dallas event. Imran Khan and Faisal Khan both brought this list, and these two brothers faced each other in finals, a Yu-Gi-Oh first, and to my understanding, still only. The list is absolutely clean. These monsters do everything the deck wants, and there is no room for chaff. We're playing exactly nine hand traps, three Ash Blossom, three Droll and Lockbird, two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, because the Spiral Double Helix, if it summons, has to go to a Link Point, and one Max C. After that, we've got the Spiral Monsters. Drone is a gear monster that, when normal or special summoned, can look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck, put them on top of the deck in any order, and contribute itself to target a Spiral you control. It 
it gains 500 for each monster your opponent controls. Last Resort is a critical part of the end board. You can target a spiral you control, equip this monster from your hand or field to the target, and while equipped to a monster by this effect, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, and your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Spiral Master Plan is an unbelievably powerful part of the strategy. Summoning this was frequent off of Double Helix because once per turn it allows you to add a Spiral Mission card from your deck to your hand. Usually you would add Rescue, and when it goes to the graveyard you can add a Spiral Resort and a Spiral Monster from your deck to your hand. Resort is a powerful field spell that allows you to add a Spiral from deck to hand, not as a hard once per turn. Three copies of Quick Fix. When this card is normal or special, you can add a Spiral Gear from your deck to your hand. We, of course, have cards like Utility Wire and Drone, but also reanimation spells like Spiral Gear Big Red. This card is not a hard once per turn either, and as a result, getting multiple copies off of something like Machine Duplication was often enough to drown your opponent in advantage. This card, Spiral Sleeper, is one of the most frustrating cards ever printed. Can't be normal summoner set and has to be specialed by banishing three spirals from your graveyard. Can't be specialed other ways. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can target one spiral you control, and up to two your opponent controls, destroy them. Of course, if your monster is equipped with a last resort, it's not going to be destroyed, and if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, destroy as many cards on the field you control as possible, and if you do, especially a spiral super agent from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Usually, if that effect was resolving, your board was either already clear or so ridiculously chewed through that you would long for the body. Speaking of the body you would long for, super agent. If this is in your hand, you can declare card type, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, special summon this card if it is a card of that type, and if it's special summoned by the effect of a spiral card, not necessarily itself, you can target a spell trap your opponent controls and destroy it. We are noticeably lacking a card that was very present in these deck lists, Spiral Tough, another card that guaranteed you got the super agent correct. Spiral Tough was incredibly powerful going second into these matches because it allowed you to chew through a piece of your opponent's board before you committed to something like the Spiral Double Helix. Here, the cons decided that we didn't need it. In fact, it was a little more important that we just combo off as hard as possible, as frequently as possible. For spells run double summon, frequently you'd find yourself with something like a drone and a quick fix at hand, and this is a way to turn that into full combo. Foolish Burial, Triple Machine Duplication, One for One, Raigeki, Reinforcement of the Army, Soul Charge, Double Big Red, Triple Resort, Triple Terraforming, a Utility Wire, which is kind of Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, and Rescue, which notably you would probably just pitch to the graveyard for the effect of Quick Fix in Graveyard in order to reanimate another Spiral card later. In the side, we've got three copies of Artifact, Sanctum for Scythe and Lancia, the sign of a terrible format. One copy of Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, despite the fact that this card is, of course, incredibly powerful, especially when you can be assured that your opponent is going to be playing Spiral, it didn't determine as many games as you would expect. Uh, just the ability to drown your opponent in advantage is usually good enough, especially with the newly generic Link Monster printed Borlo Dragon. We've of course got three Twin Twisters, a Dark Hole, Dimensional Barrier, and Double Unending Nightmare. In the extra, we've got Double Abyss Dweller, Ghost Trick Doolahan, Double er, Baguska, Sylvan Princess Sprite. The one-star Xyz monsters are extremely important because if you reanimate a quick fix off of its own effect, then it will be banished when it leaves the field. But if instead of leaving the field, it goes under a Princess Sprite, it isn't banished. Uh, Borlo Dragon, Deco Talker, Double Firewall Dragon. It might surprise you to see that Firewall Dragon isn't really the focus of this deck. Future iterations would, of course, be you linking you to Kingdom Come, but you U-linking during this period was very much a gimmick. I remember spending long hours puzzling over how to U-link using this variant of the deck. Of course, it has so much ability to summon monsters, there has to be some way to loop Firewall Dragon. Well, it turns out there was, and there was almost no reason to do it. Making a couple of Firewall Dragons linked to a Proxy Dragon and maybe a Gaia Saber above them was in no way better than just sitting on a Sleeper protected by a Last Resort and passing. We've got a Gaia Saber, an Eve the World Chalice Priestess, a Ningirsu the World Chalice Warrior, a great way to remove cards like Borolo Dragon, and then three copies of Spiral Double Helix. All in all, this deck is incredibly powerful. Even with the small amount of links that are available now, it was dominant to a degree that decks are rarely ever. And just as a bit of a spoiler, buckle in, because this isn't the last you're gonna see of Spiral. Here's Alex with another build. Well, hopefully today's the day to get out of the shirt, although it may come down to who wins rock, paper, scissors, but we will just have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 
Yet another tier zero format. I'm sure Joseph already gave you a bit of a rundown on this, but if you're not aware, the two events that took place around this time, which were, I believe, YCS Dallas and YCS London, I think they took place on uh, successive weeks after one another, which also coincided with the release of Circuit Break, hence where Spiral Double Helix was released. Uh, that resulted in Spiral getting 27 out of the top 32 in one tournament and 29 out of the top 32 in another. I forget which was which, but in any case, yeah, that is definitively tier zero and why uh, immediately after this we receive an emergency ban list which hits several of the cards in this deck. The amount of advantage that this deck can generate on the first turn with two cards is just insane. Like you, you've seen decks before like, you know, full power Pepe and the like. This deck is in a league of its own when it comes to that. It's just unbelievable. Some of these TCG exclusive archetypes just blow my mind because at first they seem rather innocuous and they seem like fine. And then they release a card like this and then it just goes absolutely out of control. But uh, hopefully you guys get to see some of that in today's episode. So let's do the card by card. Last episode, I did a more longer primer covering a lot of the spiral cards. So we're going to go a bit quicker this time. Uh, we've got a ton of hand traps. So we're playing Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre. We're even on Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherry's main deck. This makes sense because when you're expecting to play nothing but Spiral during this time, being able to just like hit a double helix or hit like the best card in their extra deck to really slow them down is actually not a terrible call. Like Ghost Reaper is good in these types of formats. And so hopefully this actually pans out well for us. And then of course we have the one Max C. And then for the actual Spiral slash Engine cards, we have Triple Gofu because this going first or second is amazing, allowing us to just have plenty of free link material or to access Synchros like Coral Dragon or Ancient Fairy Dragon. And then we have three drone, a last resort, a master plan, three quick fix, a sleeper, and three super agent. And then for the spells, we have foolish burial to be able to dump something like quick fix more easily. We have machine duplication, which is like one of those broken spells in the game at this point. We have one for one, which is nuts. Soul charge, which is nuts. Big red, which arguably you could maybe even play two of this because like, yeah, games typically aren't going to be going past the first couple of turns, but if they do devolve into a grindier type game, you would like having a second of this to search for the quick fix. And then we have triple resort. And speaking of broken cards, this card is not going anywhere anytime soon, as well as triple terraforming. Then for traps, we have one utility wire and one mission rescue, which are of course both searchable. The extra comprises of Ancient Fairy, Coral Dragon for the Xyz. We have Lyrilusk Recital Starling for the DD Crow in the side deck. Baguska is nice because if your opponent is able to stop you, if you're able to end on this, there's not a whole lot your opponent can do about it. Uh, it's actually kind of an annoying card to deal with. We have Princess Sprite as well for another rank one. And then the links, we have Borlo Dragon, a nice card out of circuit break because uh, this card allows us to deal with Spiral Sleeper quite well because it can't be targeted by monster effects and you're able to take your opponent's sleep and use it against them. So everyone, or at least the people who realized that we're playing this card, because this card is just crazy. And uh, a nice Link 4. I think like obviously Firewall is as broken as he is, but for Borlo Dragon, as far as Link 4s go, he's pretty good. We have Deco Talker as well as uh, Link Spider, Mrs. Radiant, Ningirsu, Proxy Dragon, and of course, Double Spiral, Double Helix. So if you've never seen this card before, you're going to understand why this card and this deck are insanely broken. So remember I said in the previous episode how this is sort of the card that glues the whole deck together? Well, it needs any two Spiral Monsters to make. It becomes super agent while it's on the field or in the graveyard, which is very relevant for resurrecting stuff like quick fix and the like. And once per turn, you can declare one card type, either monster spell or trap, reveal it. And if it's correct, take a spiral monster from either your deck or graveyard and either add it to your hand or special summon it to your zone that this card points to, and you can only use that effect once per turn. So what this enables is it actually allows us to summon out Master Plan, which previously there was really no way to do this unless you pitched it like off of a quick fix or something and then resurrected it with Big Red. This allows us to immediately get Master Plan out of the deck. Then you can link both of those into Deco Talker, which triggers Master Plan to get you Resort and any other card that you want. You could go for Sleeper at this point, because by this point you should have three Spiral cards in Grave to summon this. And then if you got Last Resort at any point, or you could even get it with the resort to equip to the sleeper. It's basically like a guaranteed way to just establish sleeper. This, I mean, the fact that master plan becomes online as a result of double helix is really what this deck needed and honestly just takes this deck over the top. But even so, like you're able to do so many crazy things with this. Like you can add cards back to hand. You can add cards from deck to hand. Th this is one of the craziest link twos printed for any archetype period. And I will stand by that. Like if any archetype received its spiral double helix for the archetype, I feel like the archetype just becomes insane. Then for the side deck, this is where the real fun is. Uh, we're playing a Scythe and Triple Sanctum. Basically, games two and three, if you're, you or your opponent open this, I mean, you're going to be in a really strong position. Uh, to go with that, we also have Triple Droll and Lockbird, as well as DD Crow that we can search for uh, going first. Spiral Tough is for going second. This is a nice card that actually becomes more relevant uh, in later versions of Spiral, and actually they max out on it. And so by doing so, this card is neat because it allows you to effectively do what Drone does, except instead of rearranging your opponent's deck, you get a 1900 body that also can pop cards if it calls correct. 
correctly. So you're going to learn about the tough agent combo uh, very soon because this deck is going to be around for a little bit longer, even after the tier zero menace. We have Regeki and triple, or excuse me, double twin twister. And this deck opted to run triple mind crush because uh, you could just call the best card in your opponent's hand at any given moment, completely wreck their combo, and uh, you'll be able to just have them pass their turn. And now it's your turn again. So you should be able to win from that position. Hopefully we get to see some of these cards in action and uh, you'll get to see why this was yet another tier zero format. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to do it. Well, Joseph, I feel like we've only ever said this once throughout our 100-plus episodes in the series. Uh, the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! is here, right? Uh, tier 0 spiral format, 29 tops in one tournament, 27 tops in another, and then the deck will never be heard from again once the emergency ban list comes out, right? Right! There definitely isn't not only a period of extended spiral dominance, but also a second tier zero format featuring this deck in particular a couple of years down the line. Love this deck. Uh, don't necessarily love what it meant for Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm glad we got to see it just a little bit last episode. I want you all to contrast how it looked there with how it looks here. I think you'll find yeah. a lot of similarities. I imagine uh, Spiral will be losing this match. It's crazy too, because we've talked about before how TCG exclusive archetypes have gotten multiple waves of release and then the OCG comes out with this absurdly broken card that we don't get till later and it gets broken in the OCG first and then the TCG gets it and then it becomes even worse over here somehow. It's crazy how history repeats and time is a spiral, if you could say that. Oh. Shout out the patron, Bernard the Quagsire. I spent all day coming up with that one, buddy. What do you got for the hand? Oh, you know what I got. I'm ready. I rolled a three, the number oh. of cards I'm going to summon off Machine Dupe. And I, I put up a one, the number of stars on Quick Fix. So uh, do you want to just go to game two now or uh, if you'd like to no, yeah if, no. if you're we'll gonna offer it, it just we'll play it out. i gotta see if i open uh, maxi you're gonna make me play Yu-Gi-Oh. ew disgusting <laughs> all right come on i mean this this deck is uh tier zero for a reason we're gonna see how consistent this is i watch i'm gonna open like the worst hand imaginable jesus christ uh, uh, we don't get to draw okay i need to remember that Let's take a look at my extra deck and see what I actually have available to me. Now, wow, that card is still not out yet, huh? Interesting. Yeah, okay. so it's actually kind of weird. Um, <laughs> while Double Helix is crazy here and does just lead to the most ridiculous OTKs ever, uh, the deck is actually missing most of the uh, pieces that we know, you know, from like Nightmares and Beyond. We're playing like Ebe and Ningirsu. It's crazy. Truly crazy. Okay. You better, uh, I'll tell you this, you better kill me because I do have it on the crackback. Okay, all right. Let, let's see where this goes. I'm not super confident, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's go uh, Gofu. We know this guy. <laughs> let's see where this goes, Gofu. It's it's not a bad, okay. Yeah, 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 it's, I'm ready, I'm ready. Trust me, when I when I go normal quick fix, it's not that great. Not where you want to be, <laughs> but uh, just means you have to hit a 50-50. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll go quick fix effect if you'll allow it. Of course, let's go of ahead course. and grab ourselves. What do I want to grab, actually? Uh, I want a copy of, uh, you know what? Fuck it. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. <clears throat> I, I believe. Go. I actually lost connection. Uh, yeah, that's how long it was taking. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, resort. <clears throat> sure. Show me ghost ogre. You're good. All right. Well, this, uh, <laughs> I didn't think I'd be good. Oh, you don't have any cards. Wow, that's pretty cool. So because you don't have any cards, I actually am not able to go tough and then immediately determine the top card of your deck. Wow, that's like, wow, that's pretty impressive. If only there was another card that would allow you to do that, huh? If only, if only. Weird, if only, say. if only. Oh man, but I really want to get quick fix here. <laughs> uh, whatever, okay. Normal summon drone, drone effect. That's fine. You get to use the macro. <laughs> oh, nice deck. Hey, you know what you can actually have? So it goes like this. Yeah, I see what's going on here. Uh, okay, Super Agent Call Monster. Could be anything. It's gonna be a uh, Ghost Oh, would you look here. at that? That's just gonna look go at that? crazy, by the way. That's gonna go nuts next turn. Yeah. All right, bada bing, bada boom. <clears throat> All right, with the effect of Double Helix, I'm going to call Monster. All right, uh, I'm going to Ogre the double heal. Oh, you waited for here. Okay, all right. Uh, we will go ahead and grab a Quick Fix, and we'll take him to hand, rather. Well, that's annoying. That kind of fucks up my plans. Uh, how the fuck do I do this now? Uh, I'm going to banish my entire graveyard. Got the sleeper. I do have the sleeper, and I also okay. have the last resort. Wow, hard <laughs> open. That's insane. It's all right. 
Uh, I'll pass turn. Unfortunately, I do lose resort here. Okay. But I mean, you got sleeper and uh, I could have drawn literally anything. What's that card, buddy? What is it? All right. Well, now I got to deal with this asshole. Yeah. Without resort, by the way. This just sucks. Uh, I got to do something about sleeper. I can't really just let him sit around. I guess I could, but that just doesn't seem great. We'll go Gofu. Yeah, go for him. Uh, normal quick fix effect. That's fine. Quick fix. Let's add any gear card. Let's get a drone. Yeah. Uh, let's sync up Coral Dragon. Whoa, that's a card. All right, I guess I have to think here. No, I can't really allow you to pop my last resort. Well, I should have been more discerning about what I put second from the top. All right, we'll go sleeper here. Well, I shuffled anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go coral in one of the tokens. Uh, so they're done. Uh, coral dragon effect. I will draw. Yep. Oh, that's that's amazing. I'm going to reaper your double helix. Oh, well, you know, maybe you should uh, control more monsters than me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Last resort's not a monster. Yeah, he's, just, he's just chill. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. That's right. I haven't used Reaper in so long. That's wild. Uh, I'm good. Uh, stand by me. It's not great. Normal quick fix. Sure. Quick fix effect. Uh, we will grab. Jeez, I really want to grab something crazy, but I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll grab drone. Sure. Anything here? No. I feel like there should be something here. If you want to link off your sleeper for a double helix, be my fucking guest. Let's go sleeper, quick fix, and the token. Sure. Uh, let's go quick fix effect. God, this feels so weird to pitch, but I, I'm going to try to kill you here, so let's pitch the soul charge. Uh, you don't control super agent, sir. Isn't this guy super agent? He is not. Ooh, okay, let's not do that shit then. We're learning much here today. All right, I guess I'll just... I get my token back? I'll just bite the bullet. <laughs> uh, double summon. Double summon. Yeah, yeah you remember sure. this? Drone, I do, unfortunately. And we will try to resolve. I accidentally hit no. Wow. So if you want to do that macro again, there you go. You've got three pretty good ones, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you can have that one. Uh, I'll here. get rid of yeah. your double helix now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's run it. Good old... What are we doing? Princess sprite? Yes, yeah. we are. Yes, we are. Uh, princess sprite effect. Sure. Oh. oh, I mean, that's still pretty good. <laughs> it, it's a trap. It's a yes, trap. It, it works. All right. Uh, ooh. Ooh. And now I feel like we're just it's playing good. fucking rescue control. We'll go sleeper here. We'll target the uh, sleeper and the token. Sure. We'll get in for half. Take it. Second main, we will set a card. Could be literally anything. Uh, We will pass here. Wonder what my draw could be. Oh, that's a fantastic one. That's not All bad. Right. Stand by main. All good. Uh, you know uh, what, actually? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> you know what this is. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's fine. This is not good. Let's go big red target quick fix. I hate to fucking do this right now. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Quick fix effect. Also okay. All right. Who we grab in? Who we grab in? <laughs> oh, I got a funny play. All okay. Right, I'm in. I'm down. I'm going to get last resort. Yeah. Uh, equip last resort to the quick fix. Why the fuck are you doing this? <laughs> Uh, no, I think I'm all right with this. Okay, this is why. <laughs> oh, we had the dupe. Um, well, you gave me I the did dupe. Give you the dupe. <laughs> Wait, I knew that. Wait, shit. <laughs> I did know that. Um, hmm, that's fine. Doing my best to throw. I here. mean, we'll get two more. Yeah, two more effects. I bet. Go for it. I, I'll be honest with you. I still don't know <laughs> if this is gonna matter at all. Uh, what are we getting? What are we getting? Let's get a drone. Yep. I'm, I'm running out of gears over here. <laughs> Do I get the third fucking drone? This seems so bad. Fuck it. I'll take another drone. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I know you have three drones in your hand, right? Correct. All you right, do. Okay, well. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and normal summon one of those drones. Absolutely. And use the effect. Yeah, for sure. All right. let's, let's see what you got. Okay. You can have... We'll go this, this, this. Yep. I got to think. <laughs> Don't think too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to link off everything. Mm. Or load. This game, huh? Uh, Yeah, that's okay. Ping your princess sprite. Sure. Battle, take. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, We'll go 
Sleeper effect pop princess sprite? Yes. That's fine. Okay. And 28. Yeah. Over to you. Mm. No, I should do this. Mm. What do you have? No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, end step, okay. we're going to go rescue. Grab. Sure. Quick fix. Makes sense. Stand by main. Normal quick fix effect. Uh, I know you drew into droll. Now you have a drone engraved that you can get back, which doesn't really do you a ton of good. Two other cards I don't believe I know either of, because you've just been recycling that one quick fix from before. Uh, we're gonna grab Big Red here. Uh, let's go Big Red target drone. Uh, I'll go Sleeper here, quick fix in Big Red. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're going to soul charge here. Yep. For, I guess for two. I, this doesn't feel very good. Uh, let's go quick fix drone. Sure. Trigger quick fix, trigger drone. Yep. Another big red, I suppose. Go ahead. Uh, okay. End phase, sleeper goes, last resort goes. Yeah. And I'll draw. Stand by main. This keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? How was the draw? Uh, terrible. Thanks for letting me know. Since you control more monsters than me, I'm just gonna Reaper you now. Yeah, what do you want? Ningirsu. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go drone effect. Mm, yeah, okay. I don't like that. Uh, let's do... You can have that, that, that. Just annoying. Uh, we'll go to battle. Yep. Let's just take your quick fix. Sure. And then second main, we're gonna overlay. Yep. Guess we'll make our own princess sprite here. Ooh, thinking here. Right, because I know you're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, try for it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Thanks for the droll, asshole. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Uh, slowly but surely, I will. Pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, we're gonna go rescue target sleeper. Sure. All right, draw. Oh, thanks, buddy. This was exactly what I wanted. I thought you'd appreciate it. You know, you had one on the field already. I thought you needed another. Did you? Did you think I'd appreciate it? <laughs> like, perhaps you didn't. All right, well, I mean, let's normal summon drone. <laughs> yeah, sure. What are we working with? You can have that one. Figure out how I'm gonna do this. Will this be your third end phase on rescue or is it next end phase? I don't know. Good question though. I feel like this will be your second end phase. We're gonna go- We'll figure that out when we get there. Yeah, we'll go rescue, target, last resort. Uh, and we'll go ghost ogre. To blow up your rescue? Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't matter then what end phase it is, <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, we are gonna go banish, rescue, last, oh, not you. <laughs> Rescue, big red resort for sleeper. Sure. We're gonna go big red target resort, resort on sleeper. Uh, we're gonna go resort effect, send drone. And we are gonna go battle phase direct, damage step, drone effect, target sleeper. Yeah. Oh, that, that that does Jesus it. Jesus yeah. Christ, that line took a fucking Woo. million years to figure out. That, talk about a game one. That's a way to kick things off. Jeez okay. Louise. okay. Okay. These next two are gonna suck now. You know, I had this like feeling in the back of my mind that I should have popped the uh, resort when I had the chance, or the other resort, the uh, rescue when I had the chance. Cause like once I ghost reapered your double helix, I don't know what I was afraid of with you just getting a monster back to resurrect, but I'm just like, yeah, it'll be fine. He'll be dead by then. And that was basically my demise. So yeah, we uh, we made some mistakes. We made some, some mistakes. It's been a while, it's been a while, but that was a good game one though. That was, uh, I, that was at least more interesting than one of us setting up a full Jesus. combo and passing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, the full combo pass setup is funny and good, um, but sometimes you get some good games out of, you know, games where Reaper resolves. Speaking of which, looking at my hand, uh-oh. My hand's a banger once again. Oh, Go. that's fine. I know that's Sanctum. It's okay. What is it? What do you mean? Buddy, it could be literally anything, okay? Okay, uh, resort. Sure. Resort effect. <sighs> Uh, I don't fucking know, man. I, I I guess I will. You know, I almost want to just grab Super Agent. Let me think real quick. You could. 
Yeah, but like what? Popping Sanctum is gonna do a whole lot. Versus you're assuming it's Sanctum, Joseph. Yeah, you're no, assuming it's, it's Sanctum. It could be. It could be literally anything. <laughs> what if it's the scythe, and then you're gonna look like a real Ooh, idiot? For I will look like an absolute <laughs> bumpkin. You're right. Uh, anything at this position? No, you're good. All right, we beat the droll check. Uh, let's terraforming again. <laughs> Go for it. All right, we're gonna do another spiral resort. This time, we're gonna get quick fix. That's fine. You're really letting this go. I really... All right, it's got to be Sanctum. You would... There's it no could way be the Sanctum. scythe, Joseph. It could be the scythe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Uh, one for one, we are going to pitch Quick Fix to Gray. Your hand is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it, it, which doesn't matter because that's Sanctum. <laughs> All right, let's get a drone here. Uh, I will activate the effect of drone. How do you feel yeah, about that? I have no response to uh, Yeah, that. because you're going to flip Sanctum, and it's going to fuck up the top of your deck. Uh, oh, I found a Sanctum on top. Well, now I think it's not Sanctum. <laughs> it's clearly Sanctum. All right. Uh, It'd we'll be very funny if the Scythe was the card on top. Then you would know for sure. Anything here? You're good now. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, uh, we will activate Super Agent Calling Trap. Hmm, interesting. I, I wonder what the card is you put on the top of my deck by chance. Oh, look at that. It's not It's not Sanctum. It's not Sanctum. Now I have a second fun little game I get to play. Is that said card Scythe or is it Sanctum? And if it's Sanctum, it's wrong to pop it too, right? I feel like. I mean, I feel like it's wrong no matter what to pop it, but that's just me. I'm trying to think what you could possibly be. What am I worried about? Storming Mirror Force? All right, nothing here. Do you have anything? Uh I have Sanctum. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. shocker. Oh my God. Shocker. Wait, you're telling me that was Sanctum the whole time? No, no way. All right, okay. Uh, this man has 22. Holy He's big. Shit. What He's a big. lad. All right, I was uh, also waiting for you to have monsters on the field in case you had Gamma. So. I can know what I'm doing here. Uh, hmm. Okay. Um, you're going to hit over my scythe? <laughs> yes. What is this? All right, so 23. 24. <laughs> Yeah, take two, dumbass. Yeah, I'll take th uh, 200. Woo, he's a yeah. monarch now. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Show off the new feature. You can modulate super agent stats. Ooh. Uh, well, it's only going to be there for one turn, so. <laughs> but it's cool. Know. But it it's is, cool. You know, what? you know what? You're damn right. It is cool. I think from the viewer perspective for, like, all the series that we do, this is actually kind of neat. Man, I, I don't even know if I'm going to. All right, okay. I'll just pass here, and we'll put drone back. And then we'll we'll put him back down. We'll put it back down, baby. Okay, so I'm drawing into the best card in my deck. Oh wait, yeah. my deck shuffled because of yeah. Sanctum. I forgot. I know. Yeah, I'm that, a little. That card's actually kind of crazy now. Go main one. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Even with Sanctum in you, my hand's not great. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, actually. I'm not gonna lie. All right, drone effect. Yeah, I'm not like really thrilled about this. Okay. Uh, those are three decent ones. We'll go. <clears throat> Uh, one, two, three. I'll try it. You could dupe a fucking drone. What do I care? Yeah, I know. It's not great. It's not great. Now, I could use both drone effects again, but I'm, I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> Can make some dudes. Uh, let's get rid of these. We'll make the boy. Yeah. I'm going to go foolish. Jesus Christ. Dump quick fix. Hand is looking pretty good. I got to tell you. Uh, we'll go quick fix effect for cost. I'll pitch this sanctum. Oh, Jesus. All right, yeah. Then we'll go quick fix effect on summon. That's fine. Guess we'll get Mr. Big Red. Yeah. Seems okay. There's like a 0% chance this helix actually resolves. Uh, we'll try it anyway. Uh, I, mean, I was going to say, you did a pretty good job accounting for it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's fine. It's not great. Uh, still get to resolve. What are we getting? I guess we can get agent now. Yeah. Do I want agent? I think we could get sleeper too. Thinking sleeper. Yeah. Any suits on my grief. Oh, I got the dudes for it. I think we do get the sleeper here actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so I'm going funny how to... many of these games just resolve down to sleeper control. I mean, sleeper's just so it's fucking insane. crazy. He's, he's such a, he's like an unbelievable card. Uh, we'll overlay for Sprite. Yep. We will try for Sprite. Alex with a Sprite hey, challenge hey! impossible. Woohoo! That's pretty pretty good. good. That's a decent That's one. Pretty good one. Uh, speaking of which, we'll fire it. Uh, you do have anything here? No. You ogred me, so I didn't think so. I guess you could have Ash, but Ashing have... Resort just feels so bad. Yeah. Can I just kill you now? I might I was be gonna able say. to. Still got two in hand. Yeah, I'll play count to 8,000. Let's try it. Uh, yeah. We'll get Agent. Yep. Uh, we'll go agent monster. 
Oh, the best card in my Shocker. deck. Thank you. Pop your resort. Yep. Then we'll go... <laughs> what's the math on this here? 37 plus 28. 65. I just need 15. Okay. Well, I guess we can try for it. Big red targets the uh, double helix, I guess. Yeah. Either that or I go quick fix. The problem is if I get quick fix, I don't think I have the damage to kill you. Yeah, I just want to kill you. All right, we'll go quick fix. Or, uh... Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever the fuck he is. Uh, we'll drop the boy. Uh, I have just enough. Uh, and we will go uh, effect pop resort pop agent, and uh, we'll try for game. This is lethal. This is lethal. Yeah, yeah. you want to count it? You can, but I think it should be lethal. Woo! Woo! Okay, okay. How did people play this format, dog? <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is you know, agony. You know, it's funny because this is like a YouTube combo deck, right? Where people saw the crazy, like, oh, you can like you link. It's like one of the first decks that can do that. But the problem is that was like never happening because every yeah. deck's playing like 14 hand traps. And like you said, it just evolves into sleeper control or just kill them. So, all right, all right let's I see mean, how this goes for you, buddy. Uh, I have it. I don't fucking know if it's going to work. Uh, super agent call. <laughs> Well, it's either monster or spell. You know what? What if it's a trap, Joe? You what know, if it's the one rescue that's still in my deck? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling spell today. Let me show me a spell. Ah! Oh, thank God. Right. Okay, that's a good draw too. I hope you don't have a drone. Uh, let us normal summon. Uh, I don't. Let us normal summon a quick. Ooh. Fix. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we're gonna grab a drone. And then this hand is bad. <laughs> but you have Sanctum. I it's do have fine. Sanctum. It's fine. I have Sanctum. <laughs> you literally have Sanctum. I literally have right. Sanctum. Yeah. All right. Main phase one. I mean, I can do some things. But you have Sanctum. Yeah, that's true. That is true. It's, it's no fun. <laughs> it's no fun. Let's go Gofu. Yeah. All right. Let's see Anything if we can here. resolve Sanctum. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's uh, activate the effect of my artifact site. Shocker. Who would have thought? I fucking love this format. Yeah. Great time. Great time. Uh, so I know you have agent. I don't know anything. You no know, drone else agent. Oh, drone agent. That's true. So you technically have combo that next turn, correct. which is uh, concerning. Thankfully, I have Gofu and two tokens to wall up. Yeah. Doesn't really matter when you can just sleeper me. I'm going to try this. We'll go tough. Oh, you're on tough. All right. Okay. Uh, We'll call... I feel like you have more of... It's about 50-50. I will say. Probably... I don't believe that in the slightest. <laughs> I'll call target scythe call monster. Oh, wow. Okay. You got it. All you right. got it. Uh, All right. I will activate scythe. <laughs> sure. We'll just attack. I'll take, what, 14 here? 14. Yeah. yeah. It's not great, but it's like, you can get this back anyway. So like, I may as well make you waste a card to do it. All right, drone. Sure. Try for it. Uh, you can have Gofu. Thank you. Yeah, you know, that's my, that's maybe not even the right idea. Would you like to do it again? No. Uh, super agent, declare monster. Could be anything. Could be literally anything. All right, so like the problem here is that this is just not gonna resolve. That you have just a million things to do. Uh, we are gonna go quick fix effect here. Uh, activate quick fix. We'll grab big red, large red. All right, you know, just fucking uh, who, who knows, you know, who knows? Uh, call monster. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Oh lord almighty, anything here? Nope, master plan. Yeah, we are gonna grab the fucking rescue from deck to hand. I bet you are. I like how this still has the sample. Uh, watermark on it from when they Wait, first does put it, it actually into what work. look at the picture look at the picture for master plan over oh, rescue no holy rescue. shit that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> oh man you know hey 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 all the all the brain power went to adding the attack yeah. modifiers it's it's okay you wonder why we can't get an edison ladder right here yeah, ladies and gentlemen anyway uh yeah. big red target drone go for it drone. would you like to fix the top again yeah i'm good all right we're gonna do it like this it wastes some material which is cringe and nay nay pilled uh, this is the fucking this guy again. Okay. Am I right? Uh, master plan. Uh, let's go these two for Princess Sprite. 
under the EMC. Uh, quick fix for Please let's come on, come on. Hey, 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 that could not have been a literally better Literally could not have been oh better. Uh, quick fix effect. We'll pitch rescue. God, the problem with all these cards is that they're all once per turns. Quick fix effect. We'll grab big red. Big red is a once per turn, right? Yeah. Uh, rescue effect. Oh, God. Do we even want to grab master plan? I think at this point we weren't playing like multiples of uh, of rescue. Yeah. Correct. There's no real no. reason to do that. Um, so we're supposed to get the guy that has link arrows. So we can go one, two, three, four for firewall. Just get the party started. The party doesn't really start at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. I wish it did. Yeah, unfortunately, the party don't start till I walk in. Uh, we'll go terraforming. We'll grab resort. Resort, grab super agent. Uh, we'll go resort, grab, let's grab quick fix. This really matters at all. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> I know the top of your deck is GoFu. You do. Uh, so I can keep you off GoFu by leaving you on a monster. Yeah, because I don't think I can kill you here. Regrettably. I think that's like insane to me that you can't. I feel like you can. There's not a lot of like OTK guys here yet. I guess the problem is I have four monsters. Yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, stud. Well, who's this big red on? Uh, no one now, because it was on the drone. Yeah, from yeah, Princess yeah, you're right. Right. I was going to say, I was like, what the fuck? One, two, three. Grab sleeper. Uh, we will equip it with last resort. Yep. Uh, let's eat a token in the GoFu. Let's go bore load here. It's like pretty annoying for you, I feel. I know I had a hard time outing that card. Yeah, let's do He's that. an asshole. Let's do that. Uh, let's go board load. That's Yu-Gi-Oh, am I right? Yep. Battle. I want your tough. I'll take uh, 11. Oh, no, it's star of damage. Set. No damage. Yeah. Sure. Wow. 28. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, go ahead and wait. Before we go ahead, I'll pay the maintenance cost on resort. Do you remember if you're allowed to put extra deck guys back? It's been so long that honestly, I forget. This was a hot fucking topic when it first happened. Yeah. Uh, we'll put the scythe back do a little bit. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't do anything, I, except... If you had a Sanctum, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Am I good to proceed? Yeah, you're good. All right. Main one. Yeah. All right, Geki. Ooh, that's crazy, dog. But uh, I don't really care. Uh, so I lose, not that what, Borload and Tough? Uh, I'll try it. Yeah, Gofu's great here. <laughs> okay. What the fuck am I doing then? I was going to say, I don't think at uh, this point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history you could get to Ning Ningirsu off of Gofu. Unfortunately, that'd be too easy. Let's go quick fix effect. Sure. Let's grab... Mm, you've got two in hand. I have two in hand. This is bad. I'm going to ash this. Gross. I don't have uh, that's opportunities fine. for that. I'm going to go... I'll sync these two for coral. Oh, that's like cool. That's fine. Uh, We'll go coral effect pitch pop resort. Yeah. We will go... Banish, banish, banish. Ooh, a sleeper of our own. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. Hence why I wasn't able to do anything the following turn. Uh -huh. I guess we'll go... I mean, there's like not much we can do in all honesty. We can go sleeper, pop itself, pop your resort, I guess. I feel like nothing really matters here. If I sleeper in response, it's the same outcome. Sure. Yep. Uh, sleeper effect. My whole board gets nuked. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, and I get to special summon agent. That's pretty cool, right? Coral effect, draw a card. Yep. Yeah, I'm dead. You got oh, this. Okay, what was the draw? <laughs> it, was, it was machine dupe. Which is <laughs> I don't know what I was hoping for. Because, like, you still had a sleeper pop anyway. I guess if I forced it out of you, then, like, you don't get to summon. Because sleeper does have to destroy something in order for you to get the summon. But, like, I don't know what I was hoping for at this point. Yeah. I'd already, like, committed everything. The, um, uh, the line here yeah. was I was like, if you draw resort off of the coral... I get to go uh, agent back, pop the resort. So the draw off the top would have had to been yeah. like, uh, you already normaled quick fix, right? Yeah, I, I have no idea what it could have been. I already normaled, yeah. yeah. So Jeez like my options Louise, were so limited. What a disaster yeah. of a fucking game. It was rough. Wow. I mean, that was, I guess it was more interesting than I was expecting this to be. I remember you and right. I were just dreading having to play this episode out because we were just like, all right, it's just, I mean, it kind of devolved but into like Sanctum. Format. And like, that was it. <laughs> That's just but how at the it same was. time. 
Yeah, that was like, that's how this was. It's it's astonishing to me how there were still decks during this time that still managed to get tops. There was yeah. still like a trick star at the top. There was still like, I think a couple like pendulum yeah, magicians or like an invoke I think it deck may have topped pen. around this time as well. I think it was well. like trick star and nonsense. Like the deal with this deck is that it was just so comprehensively powerful that the way to beat it was just to go over the top of it. And like, if you're trying to beat it by like resolving the effect of a sanctum, it still behooves you to play the best possible deck in this outcome, which is Spiral. If you're like, oh, no, 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 I'll play a rogue deck and win by Sanctuming. Well, you can just play this deck and win by Sanctuming. Uh, so instead, you know, the only exactly. decks that had a game against it that weren't actually Spiral were like, I'm going to droll loop you in draw phase. Like that was like the upside to playing it. Uh, this was a miserable format for a number of reasons. We talk about yep. tier zeros in the context of stuff like uh, tier lament, uh, necros, etc. And it's important to note, even if you're in a mirror in those situations, you can expect the game will happen like the tier lament mirror you know it's going to take like yeah uh oh, necros no, I, necros maybe it, not you, you have to play you <laughs> have to play element, a yeah. very let's use tier element. getting but you're always capable of doing that yeah for tier element specifically it's like fair, there is going to be a game no matter what like you are going to get to both turns uh to take another example yeah. from uh current the cash tier mirror you know it actually behooves you to go second right uh you have a yeah. lot of options um but what I don't like are tier zeros like this one, where the best way to win the mirror is just to board into a big ass floodgate and then draw it turn one. And that shit like was this format, be it like yep. Sanctum into Scythe, or as you saw in game one, uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries and Droll were everywhere. And uh, no other deck could really compete with the raw power of, okay, I'm going to super agent your back row and then sleeper whatever's left. You know, that, that was a set in which I never yeah. saw machine duplication. You know, that was a set in which um, there were entire nope. games where you played without access to super agent like this we resolved master plan once in yep. a best of three like th this uh th this deck was crazy um, yeah. it was capable no matter what it could find i remember playing at ycs dallas and like if people just saw quick fix machine dupe they would just scoop immediately why waste your time? Waste time why waste yeah, your time yeah exactly I, I think it's it's important that you pointed out that like the it, like tier zeros I don't think are necessarily bad as long as there is a lot of interaction and mm -hmm. I think a lot of people like may look back to a deck like Pepe right which was another you know tier zero that we covered not too long ago like Pepe even though yes the board that uh the turn one setup for that deck was crazy the astonishing part was is that and and this is the case for a lot of tier zeros is that they're able to play through the fucking crazy board most right. of the time right right it's really game two and three where it just degenerates into just like this floodgate fest because there's like two or three silver bullet specific cards that exist in the game for like that deck exactly yep. and games two and three everyone's siding it in and it's like well if you draw it like you're fucked and there's like really not much you can do about it i'm pretty sure red reboot's not out at this time so there's no counter to sanctum at whatsoever yep. the counter is i guess ash. play sanctum yourself and then i guess ash yeah like, like I that, guess that's, that's why like, i guarantee eight, that's why yeah. i'm on ash has nothing to do with resort and everything to do with sanctum ash stops double helix though yeah, as well yeah, like and that's right. fine like it's it's an okay card too but i mean the the options let's just say are very limited by comparison and uh yeah i mean I, I again i think it was just more interesting to see the game play out this way than just like i combo you can't out it we just go to game two you combo i can't out it we go to game three and like sadly the further we go along in Yu-Gi-Oh, the combo decks just keep evolving into this yeah but not in a tier zero sense the best decks like we're gonna see with goki extra link and all these yeah. other cards crazy uh, combo decks later are just going to be more variants of this, but with other things in the meta trying to like just fight back. Yeah, not to spoil the next couple of episodes, everyone, but um, uh, welcome to hell. You know, um, <laughs> one little card that did not <laughs> yeah. make an, ex uh, you know, a big splash in this episode because we don't really have the extra deck monsters for it yet is Firewall Dragon. This guy's yeah. going to be responsible for about 15 miserable formats in a row that despite the fact that there are a diversity of decks playable, all roll up in exactly this way. Game one, we're going to yep play a die roll and then games two and three we are gonna flip sanctum or see who drew uh you know the winged dragon of raw sphere mode uh and that's just what Yu-Gi-Oh is until i guess toss format yeah the it's funny because i was watching some profiles before we uh got into this episode and so many people were talking about how they never summoned firewall like a single yeah. time because yeah. in tournaments you don't have time to fuck around with actually getting extra linked or just like full comboed in spiral you just can't yeah. and that's all firewall is really good for is making the god board that's unoutable so why waste your time at that point you could just play mind games and just play other shit instead of the firewalls i was actually one of the first people to invent a u-link in this variant of spiral and that sounds crazy it's like how could that possibly be true no one was labbing it 
because it was bad. No. Like, why would you yeah. ever commit more than one monster to a board in a format where you can guarantee your opponent is going to have access to Spiral Sleeper? Like, in a world yeah. where your best uh, pointing link to is, like, Eve, closely followed by Proxy Dragon, why would you ever <laughs> devote 13 <laughs> slots in your extra God. to setting up, like, dual Gaia Sabers and just getting regekied for your life savings? Yeah. Exactly. Or evenly matched. That yeah. came out in Circuit yeah. Break as well that a lot of people forget. So, like, there were, thankfully, there were, like, some counters. And I remember people were talking about how, like, all right, I have the God board, but if they have evenly matched, I just lose the game. And that happened to a lot of people. But, and uh, unfortunately, that's just the way the game goes during this time. So, it's not hard to see why a deck like this was able to just be absolutely dominant everywhere and why they had to actually have an emergency ban list to hit, like, six cards in the deck. <laughs> and not to spoil anything, but it isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, if you thought this was the last time you were going to see Spiral, we're going to have at least Buckle three up. more Spiral formats over... So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, Phoenix the Immortal, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Jordan Coons, Cody Brett, Dylan Hunter, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Dalton, Flannel Daddy, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, I've tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Helios515, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel by a community soon, cancel by a committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Corvain, Uncle Brian of Stardust, and Candyman, 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 Candyman. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.